Hi folks, this is Daron and I'm here to show you um, a game called Doodle Quest. And this game is from age 6 and up for 1 to 4 players and it's quite a unique game in the fact that uh, you use a, a pen and uh, some drawing or sketching skills if you will um, to solve certain quests and the better you are the more scores you get. So what we have here, we have a scoring track which is might be a little bit hard to see. Well, let me see here. Uh, all right, I can actually put the board behind it, just like that, showing it where you type each player's name on the top, and then you run through six quests per game, at least according to uh, these rules here, where each quest then you record down the the points of uh, each uh, player. So. Player one might have, uh, let's say, eight point, etc. Blah blah blah. The game comes with a neat eraser that you can erase everything and just start again. Now, how you would do it, how this all comes into play is, it comes with many quests that you can use in the game, and I'm just going to choose one. And let's say I'm choosing this one here. And this one, what we have to do is cast three fishing lines and see what you can catch. And you need to draw basically lines starting from this point into the mouth. At the bottom it shows you a little bit of an example what's valid, what's considered um, uh, points. Here for example, it means you need to do three lines. You gain three points if you succeed um, uh, sketching a line from an arrow on the top to the fish mouth. You don't score any for this kind of situation where you don't reach the mouth or you um, draw through the fish itself, not through the mouth. Um, and here it uh, tells you that you do score one point only if you do make it neatly, I guess I can call it, but overlap the fish um, back, if I can say. And then you have stars here that each star will uh, reward you with an extra point. So, the way that you do it, you placed, you placed the quest that way so everybody can see. Let's see how my sketching skills. Now every player received just a, um, a transparent uh, doodle sheet and a board that you place it on that so you can uh, conveniently sketch. And then you, it's all about eyeballing really and I'm not going to go into too much detail on how to do this. Or, or trying to, all right, I did that to try and catch um, a fish that is in the middle here. And okay, let's uh, assume that I'm done here. And now, what we do, we take the board, we superimpose over it, and then we see. So, according to this, I score three points plus, plus one for a fish. This one I think that's valid. Uh, well actually I may not have scored anything since I didn't really start from the arrow and here I scored nothing. So I think I've failed except for this one. So I scored three points. So I go ahead and record three points and then there are many more um, adventures quests that you can go by capturing this evil Poisonous Stingray by stretching lines like that, creating grid. There are some more, some more neat little quests here. Now each quest sheet is double sided. Now I haven't mentioned but the game comes with obviously a marker and eraser and a fish stencil. So this quest for example, let me just zoom on that, is you need to draw um, three or outline three fish on your trans uh, transparent sheet without touching any object on this sheet. Not fish, not the uh, the seal or whatever you want to call it, um, and not uh, the the plants here. And that's really it. It's a little fun game that uh, and you know kids nowadays they like sketching and doing things like that aside from media. This is something that I always like, at least my kids. Um, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Um, please like it if you uh, enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Remember that sharing is caring. Thank you.